every morning when you wake up what is your first thought before you step out the door of your house what do you think about we all have the same thought and the thought is what am i going to wear it's gone. i have an interview here i have a meeting over there i'm going to my office over there there are so many different things that we're doing that influences the decision as to what is it that we are going to wear before we step out none of us step out of our houses naked if somebody didn't take this area seriously enough and everybody was a lawyer and a doctor how are you going to wear that dress to go to work somebody had to do that job and do it well enough for you to be selective to be able to say uh, I need to look this way for what I'm going to do and tell me does that not require a brain does that require some dropout deadbeat no brainless person to do that it is not adipam as most people would like to think of it because their mind, it's, it's almost as if the, the thought process is, there's no big deal. It's a simple dress. There's nothing simple about any dress. There's a whole lot that goes into doing it. When you come to school, there's a lot to learn as if you want to get into fashion. First, we do critical thinking. You have to learn how to think a certain way. We do public speaking and presentation. We do CAD program. We teach you Photoshop Illustrator to be able to put your designs uh, digitally. Uh, we teach drawing, different aspects of it. Figure drawing, model drawing, because you, know, you need to know how to sketch. If you're sleeping in the middle of the night and your mind comes on a certain design, you know, when you sleep through it, you forgot it by morning. So first thing, you sketch, you put it down so that you know how to focus on it and develop it better later. So we go through all this. We do portfolio, we do uh, a collection. So there's a, there's a lot that comes in. We even do math, we do English, we do French. You give, we give them a total package so that you step out and your mind actually works. You can think through the processes of what you need to do. You can think, oh, we do entrepreneurship as well so that you know how to organize yourself and do your business better. You are not going to be that person who just jumped up and sold anything. To Little things drive me. When I made a decision, this is what I'm going to do, because the word perfection is one of my things, I, I don't like to make a mistake, so I always think through what I do and if I'm going to do it, it has to be the best. It has to be right. If I can't do it right, then I don't want to start it at all. That's me. You see, so for me, uh, little things drive me, like I said. Once I made the decision, I realized that there's a need. Then I want to do it because the need is there. And right now, even going to doing the development centers, there was a need. And this, what influenced it was people coming in, unable to come to the university because they ha there's a requirement, National Accreditation Board uh, has to have before you enter university. And I thought to myself, we need to find another way of teaching people the professional way of doing this work, as opposed to going to some madam or something. So um, this influenced it for me to do that. Other things did the same. Physically challenged people helped influence something for me. The Kayai, my thought processes. There's so much people can do. You can learn a skill and be able to work. You don't have to be standing outside begging anybody for anything. So these are some of the things that get me going. So when I think about it, I know I have something else I must do. To breathe.